I'm here to clear up all of the confusion regarding LR, STR, Vegito, Blue, ZZA, how it works and when will it become available. And same thing with the quest mode stages, how it all works and when will every single stage become available. Last night during my stream, I saw a lot of questions regarding this, so I figured I might as well make a video, explain it all. That way you understand how everything works. But of course, I have to catch only one person lacking really quickly with a very quick subscriber challenge again before we hop into this video. Just be honest, okay? If this is you, you got caught lacking. If you spent five stones, or in other words, if you've done a single on Pan's banner in the last three hours, you know who you are. And don't don't look away and act like you don't know you did that. You got caught lacking today. You gotta subscribe to the channel. It is what it is. I understand maybe 24 hours ago, but why are you still doing singles like recently? It, it stop. Save your stones. I understand you have an addiction, but just stop, okay? It's okay. Your pan is not meant for you. That's fine. Move on, save for the better stuff dropping in the future. But if this was not you, if you did not try and do a single on pan in the last three hours, you can skip today's subscriber challenge. I will catch you lacking in the next one. Don't stay tuned for that. Let's hop straight into this video. So let's just break things down one by one. If you hop over into the new section, you will see this right here. Quest Dokkan Story Renewal Campaign. The very first thing is basically showing you new missions. There is a total of 30 dragon stones you can obtain from doing all of these missions right here. So go ahead and get it done if you haven't got it done already. They are available right now, okay? Uh, next, we have this right here, basically explaining how the Incredible Gem Shop was updated. I actually dropped a video yesterday on how to grind Incredible Gems, so go check that out if you haven't already. Uh, new Kai's and stuff in there. And then we have the um, rank EXP from Quest Mode or Quest Stages quadrupled. That's live right now. And then we have the Legendary Challenge Campaign and then the Extreme Challenge Campaign. So the way these work is like this the legendary challenge campaign is just something dokkan likes to do for these free to play lrs that basically incentivize you or incentivize grinding the lr before the challenge campaign actually begins and then during the campaign itself so for example you can see recruit vegeto blue before the ch legendary campaign begins uh, to receive 10 dragon stones three kais and two of these um you know reversal you know, hourglass uh, uh, medals, if you will. So basically, the campaign, again, starts on the 11th of October. So if you want to obtain or earn those three Kais and 10 Dragon Stones, you need to get STR Vegeta Blue in your box by the 11th of October, basically six days from now. Then we have the Extreme Challenge Campaign. And the Extreme Challenge Campaign is when the LR starts to actually EZA. This is not... This is not where the LR EZAs, this is just for some missions that you can complete, um, you know, to act, just get ready, if you will, for their EZA. The extreme challenge campaign is where the LR begins to EZA, but over on JP, they did things really weird, and this is how they're going to do things on a global, so just follow along here, okay? LR's EZA in three steps. If you were around, you know, just a few months ago before Dokkan implemented the uh, really easy EZA system where you can just EZA unit completely in one go. Before all of that, you had to do, you had to, to EZA an LR, you had to click or, you know, train up the unit three different times. And for TURs, it was seven different times. It was a very long, annoying process. But LR is EZA in three separate steps. So what Dokkan did was they separated that and timed it with the release of the new quest mode stages. So let me show you this, okay? Over on JP, they released the first batch of quest mode stages on the 11th of July. Oh, yeah, the 11th of July. And then the Extreme Challenge campaign also began the same day, the 11th of July. And his first uh, stage of being, you know, easy aid became available. So you can easy aid Vegito Blue, just not all the way, only the very first stage. If we correlate this over to a global Dokkan, we will see that the Extreme Challenge campaign begins on the 19th. So this is when the first stage of his EZA should be available, as well as the new quest mode stages. They could drop the stages a little bit earlier than this, it's possible, and I'll show you why in a second. 
but just expect that by the 19th of October, we should be receiving the new quest mode changes, maybe sometime before that, but 19th is again the day that we should receive it because over on JP, they got the first stage of the EZA for the Extreme Challenge campaign, as well as the new stages or the, the first set of the new stages. Then, this is the 11th, right? So then on the 20th, so basically a little more than a week later, uh, they dropped the second batch of stages and they also dropped the second set or second uh, stage of EZAs or the second EZA stage for LRS, TR, Vegito, Blue. But notice this, right? The date for this was the 21st and the date for the stages were the 20th, which is why I was saying that they theoretically could drop the stages just, you know, a little bit earlier, but it's going to be around the same date anyways. But again, this was about a week, a week and a few days after the first set of missions. So again, if we correlate this to Global Dokkan, if 19th, is the first set of missions and stages for the quest mode then i would expect the 25th the 26th maybe even the 27th to be the day where we can get more quest mode stages as well as um what's it called as well as the second stage for vegeto blue zza keep in mind that 28 2 the new best link leveling stage at least for global now should be dropping on the first set of stages not the second set uh, so it, it should be available as soon as the first quest mode changes actually released. Okay, so that is that as you guys can see there and then the last set of stages dropped about a week later literally seven days later and this is where stages six through eight um, You know became available as well as the last final stage for LRS here Vegito Blues EZA so again, since this was a week later over on Global, if stage two drops on the 26th, 27th, 28th, uh, sorry, the yeah, 26th, 27th, 28th of October, I'd expect, you know, November 3rd, November 4th, November 5th to be the last day um, or the day that you can expect not only the last stages for the quest mode, but also LRS tier for Judo Blue's final stage of EZA. That's how it should work on a global. So that means we're going to have to wait probably another month to fully experience this guy's EZA, which definitely isn't really that bad, especially if you don't have this guy done yet. This guy is an LR that you actually obtain um, from, let me pull him up here actually. In case you guys don't, if you don't have LRS tier Vegito Blue, uh, he's literally completely free to play. Uh, so I recommend, you know, uh, getting him done now. Uh, but basically, you know, he starts out as this SSR right here. And you can actually buy him from the Baba Shop with Incredible Gems. And even these right here. Dokkan added uh, Supreme Kai Stones, this thing right here. And you actually obtain these by completing missions in the quest mode so actually you know let me let me show you this right here just that it's a little bit easier for you to understand so if you go over to missions and click on trial right here please trial thank you very much uh you will see all of the stages all the areas and all the stages where you can actually go in and obtain all of the supreme kai stones and with these supreme kai stones you can go over uh into the baba shop right here and buy copies of uh str vegeto blue as i mean i guess it's base vegeto um and yeah and then with incredible gems you can go buy extra copies which you don't really need um as well as the patara medals now these medals you do get from the quest mode stages but they do offer you some in the baba shop from this medal and from this medal allowing you to actually get it done a lot faster so w on them to be honest with you uh but yeah so go ahead go ahead go ahead english please go into the quest but if you haven't already and complete every single stage you need to uh to get the supreme kai stones and then exchange them in the baba shop for str vegeto blue some kais whatever the case is and then awaken him slowly uh, which, by the way, do require these medals right here, which, again, you get also in the quest mode and from, you know, incredible gems. And then you can eventually awaken the man himself into LR STR Vegito Blue. So 
hopefully that makes sense also keep in mind that you can actually grind up his super attack completely free to play um from this chat right here the free to play str vegito which drops from the og physical super vegito dokkan event so yeah hopefully you enjoyed let me know if you have any other questions comments concerns anything let me know in the comments i'll do my best to answer but uh, that's pretty much it for this video um i'm excited for this guy's eza even though you know he could have been a lot better i think but you know it is what it is again i'll see you in the next one take care and peace